when I was uh, approached by the University of Wollongong, um, Judy, Judy Raper came to visit me and, uh, and, she, and she suggested maybe I should come out and do a little visit to Australia. My wife and I, and, and more recently with the children, have spent time traveling around the world visiting surf destinations, so we love an adventure. facility that we're building is Molecular Horizons. Molecular Horizons is designed to house three very high-end transmission electron microscopes and a ion milling scanning electron microscope. So that project is planned to be completed in 2019. In the interim, we've purchased two microscopes so far the first one has been installed here in Building 41, and this is the uh, Talos Arctica FEI Thermo Fisher um, development. Um, this microscope is being installed and tested. This microscope, we believe, will deliver resolution on the order of about three angstrom. Um, so, one of the things about electron microscopy that's really marvelous is this ability to span the scales that are the living organism. So if you think about a human being, a human's about two meters. Uh, if you move to the next level down, uh, you might be looking at an MRI machine where you might be able to visualize what the brain is doing down to possibly even millimeters, so a thousandth of a meter. Uh, if you move from there, you might uh, take a light microscope, a high-end light microscope, and start to look at tissues and cells and things inside those cells that would take you down to about a micron which is a thousandth of a millimeter from there you have to move into an electron microscope to see beyond that or, or possibly uh, using x-rays so the electron microscope enables us to visualize um, things on the order of millimeters down to microns and beyond a micron, if you divide that up into about a thousand parts, you get to a nanometer. Those are sort of the scales of uh, connections in the brain, such as axons and things like that. And if you move down another factor of 10 below that, you get to the angstrom resolution, which is about the diameter of a hydrogen atom. Yeah.